This is Higher Maths, it's the 2001 paper 1 and it's uh, question 10 on the past papers. Right, the diagram shows a sketch of part of the graph y is equal to log x to base 2 and you have to state the values of a and b. So there's a there and there's b there. Now know that this type of graph here passes through the point 1, 0. Uh, so I would expect that a is going to be the point 1 there, it's going to be 1 and it's going to be 1, 0 that point. Um, if I didn't know that, let's let's work it out. Okay, so we'll go for part A first of all. And what we'll do is I'll start with uh, the equation. So it's uh, x to base 2. And what we'll do is I'll substitute a point in. I'll substitute the point A0 into the above. Okay, so, so wherever I see A, that's my x. Wherever I see 0, that's my y. Okay, so 0 is equal to log A base 2. I'll change it to exponential form and when I change to exponential form what I'll do is I'll say that a is going to be equal to the same base that's there 2 to the power of 0 and remember anything to the power of 0 here will give me an answer of 1. So a is equal to 1. So for the next part what we'll do is we'll just do the same thing we'll substitute in the next point. So I'll substitute the point and it's 8b, okay, into the above, okay, just into the same equation. So we'll start off with uh, y is equal to log 2x, I've already written it there, okay. So b for y is equal to log, it's a base 2, and that's going to be an 8 that's appearing there. Okay, so if I, I just uh, went ahead and changed that to exponential form, what I could do is I could go for uh, for 8 is going to be equal to and what we've got is the same base so the same base which is 2 there will be the base here for exponential and that will be to the power of b okay so something to the power of uh, 2 to the power of b is going to be equal to 8 so 2 to the power of 3 will be equal to 8 so therefore b is going to be equal to 3 Okay, so I've got a equal to 1, b equal to 3. Right, for part b, what I've got here is I've to sketch the graph of y is equal to log x plus 1 to the power uh, to the base 2 minus 3. Right then, so what I need to understand here is what happens within this graph that's here just now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write in here, that's the point 1, 0. Now that I've worked out the point A, and this here is the point 8, 3, now that I've worked that one out. So what I'll be doing now is I'll be looking to sketch this graph. What I'll do is I'll do two translations. Okay, I'll do one that will be translating in the uh, the horizontal direction first of all. So let's, let's have a look at that and see what uh, that would look like. So if I just uh, set that out like this here, and... Remember what we've got here is uh, x plus 1. So whenever we've got something in the bracket there, remember you would think a plus 1 would move in that direction there. It doesn't. It moves left. Okay, so it's moving left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the graph, first of all, one place in that direction there. Okay, so I know that's 1, 0, so that must be the 0, 0 there. Okay. And I know that that's 8, 3, this point here, so that must move 1, and that must go to 7, 3. Because it's moved one place in the uh, x direction, okay? So from there, what we'd get is we would have our graph that's coming from here, coming up there, and it's going away in that direction there. Okay, so that's the first translation. This translation here was the horizontal. Okay, next what we'll do is we'll do a vertical, oops, so a vertical translation, and the vertical translation is based on this value that's out here, if it's a positive it's going to go up the way, if it's a negative it's going down the way, so we're going down, down 3 for this one here, so finally this should give us our uh, final answer. direction here. 
y direction here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going down the way three places based on that value that's there. So going down three places, that'll take me down to there. So that point there is zero minus three. And the seven three point will go from seven three down to seven zero. So that'll be seven zero there. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll just draw this up from here. I'll go in that direction there. And that would be my final answer. I could possibly just do one other thing here and I could do a kind of dotted line down here. And that would be a minus one. And this line here would never ever go over that. So that would continue way down in this direction here. Okay, so marking for, for this question here, what we'll get is we're only going to get one mark for both these parts here. So that would be B is equal to three and A is equal to one. So that's just a, a one mark that we're going to get there. Okay. What we'll get is we'll get uh, one mark for uh, a translation. So we've started to translate it. So maybe we'd get one mark for, for this one here. And what we'll get is we'll get a final mark for getting this correct and making sure that these points are labeled up clearly. So this would be out of four marks in total.